I have a real problem with the reaction to the LaMarcus Aldridge and Blake Griffin uh, buyouts and them ending up on the Brooklyn Nets because, you know, you, you see Blake kind of just rising up enough and, like, squeezing the ball over the rim and dunking at home. And then you see LaMarcus Aldridge, like, you know, doing the little shoulder shimmy, rising up, nailing a two-pointer. And all the comments and the captions are like, the Brooklyn Nets are unfair. Blake's got his bounce back. LaMarcus in the post is unstoppable. And it's like, what is going on? Brooklyn, are they, they're unfair because they have Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Kyrie Irving. They are not unfair because they added Blake Griffin and LaMarcus Aldridge. That is almost as irrelevant as it gets. Yes, they are names. Yes, they are players who used to be superstars in this league or all-stars in this league, you can say. But LaMarcus Aldridge in one game going 4 from 10 from the field is not like, wow, the Nets are unfair now. And Blake Griffin dunking as an NBA athlete who is taller than five foot nine is not impressive. They can all do it, guys. Like, I don't know why we thought that Blake Griffin had actually lost the ability to dunk while in Detroit because that was never going to be the reality. And if he was throwing down 360 windmill dunks, I would be like, yeah, maybe Blake was playing us, guys. But they're like two-hand putbacks. So we all just need to relax. It's like, it is the it is so entirely predictable. It's the same stuff we saw with the Golden State Warriors when they like sign a past his prime Demarcus Cousins, and everyone's like, well, like now it's literally impossible to beat them. They'll never lose another game of basketball in their lives. Like, nah, that's not how this works. There's a reason Blake Griffin and Marcus Aldridge were allowed to be bought out and move on in the NBA. It's because they're not those guys anymore. So I just need people to like sort of relax and calm down because right now I'm not calm because (laughs) everyone else isn't calm. I I mean, to be fair, Blake Griffin said the exact same thing at a press conference. (laughs) He he was like, all y'all been slamming for two years and as soon as I go to the Nets, it's like, oh, now it's a super team. Yeah. It's like, I mean, Ennis Cantor's averaging more points than Blake Griffin this year. (laughs) You know, would, would you get that excited if Ennis Cantor went to the Nets? Like he, Anna's Cantor's averaging more blocks than. I actually Blake get this overreaction. I do. I've, I feel it. And I'm, I'm not thinking of it from the point of view that, oh, they've signed LaMarcus Aldridge and he's going to drop 40 in a game seven against the Sixers in the Eastern Conference Finals and they're going to go on to win the NBA title and anything. But it's more from the standpoint of the basketball IQ and the veteran heads that can now step on the court in a final few minutes of a close game that just shouldn't be allowed under the salary cap. It's the same way that um, through the playoffs last year, Gordon Haywood was averaging, what, six points, four rebounds, and three assists. And yet every time he had the ball in his hands, Boston fans could breathe a sigh of relief because you know he's smart with the ball, he's going to make the right play, he's a veteran who's been in these situations before. With Aldridge and Blake Griffin coming onto this team with a lineup of all players that are veteran all-stars. You're not going to get a Nick Claxton weird turnaround jumper or stupid offensive foul. You're not going to get a TLC dumb turnover. Blake right Griffin, he might, Blake, Blake might have one in him. Blake, <laughs> Blake still might have one in him. See, I, w- I, would, I would back uh, Blake Griffin and LaMarcus Aldridge to might make the right play before a Landry Shamit. And I think that's... That's more the point that I was looking at it being like, man, these signings are unbelievable because in the final few minutes of a close game, who would you rather have on the court? Enes Kanter or Blake Griffin? 